how do we find those keywords actually? How do we decide which keyword do we need to add in, your, in our metadata or which keywords do we need to uh, have ranking for? Uh, sorry, to be bidded for. Uh, we basically have three ways. I will cover the App Store optimization the last because it's the most important one that we need to cover today. Uh, the second one is discovery campaigns. Uh, and the third one is thinking like a potential user. I will cover them all in, in a second. Let's start with discovery campaigns. So uh, you, we already covered this in our previous session, but let's go over it real quickly. Uh, these discovery campaigns are based uh, on the search terms that are coming from the user's preferences. And Apple will make your, uh, apps ap ap make your app appear for the most relevant keywords. Actually, um, we can consider this campaign as an opportunity for you to discover new and related keywords accordingly with the user's behaviors and by Apple's algorithm. In other ways, uh, basically Apple is just listing you list of search terms that you can also uh, bid on. Uh, it's totally up to Apple's algorithm. So it's really important to give a test because sometimes we are not able to bid for the right keywords. We're not able to find uh, every keyword uh, at once. So discovery campaigns are really helping us to expand our keyword pool. And by using broad match or search match on toggle at the ad group level, you can easily reach out more users. And by tracking and analyzing the, the performances of those search terms, new keywords uh, of, the, of those new keywords, actually search terms, uh, you can take actions accordingly. For instance, let's assume that you have a promising metric according to your KPIs. Of course, it differs from one app to another, but let's say uh, you, you have a promising metric. It meets the search term is meeting your CPA level. It has a reasonable amount of spending and it had broad enough installs then you can consider adding this search term as an exact match keyword to one of the uh, ad groups as a test to see their in-app events. Because as you may all know, uh, under the search terms layer, search term layer, we are not able to see in-app events. We are only able to detect them if we're bidding on them through exact match or broad match. That's why if we think there is a promising metric under the discovery campaign, we're basically shifting this keyword, we're adding this keyword, this search term as a keyword in the exact match for the test ad group to see their in-app event performances. And if we decide that it's performing good, then we're moving uh, accordingly. Um, if let's say we have some irrelevant terms, we're spending a bunch of money, but the keyword is not bringing install, it's not relevant to us, it's relevant with our app, so we don't want to spend uh, money for that particular keyword. This thing could happen, it could be an irrelevant term for us. Now then uh, discovery campaigns also allow us to lack our spending for a particular keyword because we're, we, we will be basically negating this particular keyword and then uh, we will no longer be spending for this one. This could also be helpful for us. And if you cannot decide if this uh, search term it could be about performing for us or not, you can just give it a more time to observe and then uh, you can uh, recheck them again after a certain period of time. These campaigns are considered as one of the most important campaigns because users' preferences are changing each and every day. And it's really hard to keep in track of the keyword cycle for each app. Therefore, it's important to be able to see for which keywords Apple is finding your app relevant for, and then bid on those keywords accordingly. The next come as a thinking like a potential user. Uh, as you may all know, uh, most of the searches are coming from the brand names at App Store. And I know for uh, some of user acquisitions, they're not preferring to bid on their brand names. But I would just kindly like to remind you that uh, there are, there are uh, many competitors in the market that are willing to take your users. So actually, if you're not bidding on your brand name, this means that one of your competitors is, winning on, is uh, bidding on your brand name. Which, which means that they might have a probability to steal your users. Like they might, might steal a piece of your cake. So why would you allow them to steal it? I know if someone is typing your brand name, they are exactly looking for your brand name. It's okay. So you say like, if someone is typing my name, why do I need to pay? But uh, one of your competitors might uh, steal your shot at this point. So it's always a good idea to bid on your brand name. 
Next, you can consider uh, adding general qu queries. Ex I'm uh, passing the competitor keywords, but this generic keywords, this general type queries will help you to uh, get some users uh, based on the generic keywords, actually. This could also be helpful to expand our keyword pool. Next, the most important one is the App Store optimization. It's the process of optimizing to maximize the visibility uh, of your app by using the correct keywords. So it increases the traffic or more organic downloads are brought, which means it's cheaper and it brings higher conversion rates because since Apple finds you relevant, uh, it, it has more uh, target, uh, it, it, it has a high tendency to bring more users. But how do we decide on which keywords do we need to include in our metadata? We're basically checking their search popularity score. This is one of the metrics, by the way. Again, Aishanur will cover this in the second section. Um, so a keyword metric, which consists of values from five to 100. This is what I'm talking about, the search popularity. It shows how popular is this keyword uh, by the users. And accordingly, you can decide on which keywords you would like to bid on. The higher search popularity is, the higher, better, uh, the, the better it is, so you can bid it on. And it actually helps you a lot to find the uh, identify the best keywords. 